A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus A plus English is just so much fun. English education for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh-huh. learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany. I'm Jacqueline. And today we're learning all about airplanes and flying. I love flying. Do you love flying? No, uh, because sometimes it takes too long. Ah, okay. You don't like the long flights, no. but are you scared of flying? I used to be, but okay. not anymore. Okay, that's good. As long as you're not too scared about flying, then it's fine. But before we begin and take a look at our article, I have a question for you. What facts about planes do you know? Hmm. Mm, I think I I've heard that most crashes occur. <gasps> Just during landing and takeoffs. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh. That, that, most most of them. Okay, yeah. like percentage wise. Well, I'm afraid I don't know too much, but you know, watching my TV shows, mm-hmm. documentaries about airports and stuff,、um, I do learn that you know if. An airplane gets struck by lightning while you're flying. The plane is designed to let the lightning pass through, so、That's、nothing so、cool. happens to plane. So don't be scared if you see lightning、um, while you're flying. But、wow. yeah, those are the facts that we know. But then we're going to show you a lot more in our article. So let's take a look. <laughs> Flight path facts with Ethan and Evelyn. Warm-up question: What facts about planes do you know? I can't wait to visit New York. Same here. It's a long trip from Taiwan, though. <gasps> Look, we're taking the long way. Our path curves. Why don't we just fly in a straight line from Taipei to New York? Firstly, pilots need to think about bad weather. We don't want to fly in heavy rain or strong winds. Oh yeah. Okay, so our article today is with. Ethan and Evelyn, and they are on a plane. Ethan says, "I can't wait to visit New York." Ooh, okay. New York sounds a lot of fun. When you can't wait to do something, it just means you're super, super excited about something happening. Like, for example, I can't wait to see Blackpink on tour. Are they going on tour again? We don't know. Or I can't wait until my birthday. Day. So、yeah. we can also maybe say, "I look forward to doing something." So I look forward to going on a picnic with Tiffany,、Yay. or I look forward to the new movie.、Mm. I like that. That's right.、Mm. Evelyn then says, "Same here. It's a long trip from Taiwan, though. Have you ever been to New York, Jiglin? Yes, once." Mm-hmm. And I remember it was when I was in college. Ooh, must have been a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So I will. I grew up in New York,、yeah. but I spent my time in Atlanta.、Mm-hmm. I only visited New York once when I was a child, so I haven't gone back yet、oh, okay. as an adult. So、mm-hmm. that's something that I might be interested in as well.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So as we continue on the article, we see that maybe Evelyn, she's、uh, at her seat. She's checking the flight path. Okay. If you guys do that,、uh, that's what she's doing. Evelyn says. Look, we're taking the long way. Our path curves. Okay, I don't know if you've if you have noticed this, but when you fly, when you check the flight path、uh, path, which is on the screen in front of you,、mm-hmm. it's always in a curved right. line. Right. Yeah, I, I actually never checked, but now that you mentioned it, I'm like, yeah, it's always it's never a straight line. Yeah, because I love like checking the fight pla、uh, fight flight paths, <laughs> and then like how many hours it takes.、Uh-huh. I'm like, I'm like, where do we fly over? So I like checking that as well.、And、I've、mm-hmm. always known it's it's always like 
I don't know if you can imagine, it's like a, Mm. yeah, it's not like from on the map where it's like from Taipei to New York. It's a curve. It goes all the way up, maybe even to Canada. Mm. And Evelyn says, why don't we just fly in a straight line from Taipei to New York? So she totally (laughs) has the same thoughts as me because I think it would be like the quickest way, right? Yeah, so the trip would be so much shorter. Yeah. I would probably love planes even more. Yeah, (laughs) if only... If only Flying. planes can fly so much faster, yeah. then I think people would travel even more, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, but let's see why it's a curve and okay, something like okay. that. Now, um, here we see Ethan. He's trying to explain to Evelyn something. But Evelyn, she has kind of like, you know, scary images in her head. <laughs> and Ethan says, firstly, pilots need to think about bad weather. Okay. Right, because like uh, we don't want to fly in heavy rain or strong winds. And then Evelyn says, "Oh yeah, okay." Because yes, I think being a pilot, there's a lot to, to take, pay take. attention to. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. they have actually so much to learn and so much to do mm-hmm. before we actually take off. Like they have to calculate how much um, the whole plane weighs. They have to make sure you know the baggage is all in the same or all in the correct weight because they also have to fly and check the. Oh, it's, it's a lot of so things much to stuff do. to take to, yeah take care of. I know. Mm-hmm. So yes, I know on the on the plane while we're waiting, we're like we want to take off, but actually it's a mandatory it's a must Mm -hmm. and it's all for our own safety so maybe we shouldn't complain about that yeah just eat or drink yeah or (laughs) sleep (laughs) (laughs) but have you ever flown during bad weather i don't really recall but i think i would probably be very scared if i was Uh uh-huh if I was on a plane, that's yeah. during bad weather. Yeah. Have you? Well, I, I landed in Taipei once during the typhoon day. Like, I never knew it was going to be like this. But the wind was so strong. It took the pilot three tries to land because it was too windy. This was like the first time. That you got that, scared on a yeah, plane. Yeah, taking a plane that I was very, very, very scared. Sounds very scary. Yes. They also need to think about jet streams. These are like rivers of air. They always move from west to east. So if we're flying against one, we'll go slower? Right. Many things can change the route choice. Mainly pilots follow great circle routes. Okay, so we're back in our article and here in the picture we see um, like a jet stream direction on a globe. So a jet stream is kind of like the wind and it's showing Mm. the the direction on the globe. Ethan says, they also need to think about jet streams. These are like rivers of air. They always move from west to east. West to east. West to east always? Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually, I didn't know that. (laughs) Yeah, but um, I guess the jet streams also help make the flight much uh, like way quicker because it gives you like an extra push you don't need to i don't know use more fuel i guess so i Mm -hmm. think maybe also pilots calculate that as well they have to check where the jet streams and how they can use the jet streams Mm -hmm. to help them travel but maybe not when they're traveling in opposite directions oh right right. that would take even longer yeah yeah yeah. i think you wouldn't like that i mean no (laughs) of course not yeah yeah Okay, Evelyn says, so if we're flying against one, we'll go slower. And Ethan says, right. Okay, so just like what you mentioned, it's kind of like swimming against an ocean current, right? (laughs) Like if the waves keep coming at you, you're swimming against it, it's even more difficult. Yeah, but not just ocean currents, because sometimes I go swimming and if I I find it very difficult to swim forward when the wind blows the opposite direction. But even just the wind, not the current. You know, yeah. So you okay. Find out how to like. Oh, you need so much more effort. So it gives you an extra like energy for when you're trying to work out. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> working out even harder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next, we see another picture where they show this great kind of circle route. You can even say route as well. Okay. Mm. Ethan says many things can change the route choice or route choice. Mainly pilots follow great circle routes or routes. Oh. Okay. So yeah, this is why pilots yeah. need to study so much because they have to learn about the weather, mm-hmm. these paths. 
paths, these uh, jet streams, these circle routes. It's、mm. a lot to take in.、And、yeah, they're also very good at physics. I think. Oh yeah,、mm-hmm. a lot of things to study. I know. Okay, that is why I'm not a pilot, and I just sit and travel. And <laughs> 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 all right. So that is maybe one of the reasons why, or some of the reasons why we fly in a curved path. I think there's so much more to learn too. We have some of the words we have to see,、mm-hmm. right? So let's take a look at Chigolin Solo. Pass 就是我们今天第一个单词，它是路线的意思，所以花园小路就是 a garden path。不过它也可以指途径的意思，像我们说成功的道路 the path to success。比如说 hard work is the path to success。或者是我们常常口语会说，呃、啊，我们会有一个片语可以说 pass cross， 它就是相遇。所以，比如说 ，I hope we meet again， we can also say I hope our paths cross again。那我们看另外一个句子，这边是路线的意思。比如说 ，take this path to get from one side of the park to the other， 沿着这条路线就可以从公园的一头走到另一头。那我们今天讲到 fly， 大家之前学到是飞的意思，但今天是搭飞机旅行，所以它的三态是 fly, flew, flown， 所以也有开飞机的意思哦。比如说 ，he learned how to fly at the age of eighteen， 他在十八岁就学怎么开飞机，所以这个它的名词就会是 flight， 那指的就是航班啊或航程。比如说，你们他的们的航班是迟到的，一个小时迟到 ，so their flight was an hour late。我们看另外一个句子 ，Johnny will fly to France for a vacation next week. Johnny 下一周会飞往法国度假。那我们刚刚讲到说，哎，这个 heavy 这个字，它就是很剧烈的、大量的。所以，我们今天说，哎，这个交通有点拥塞，就是 heavy traffic， 雨下的大 ，heavy rain， heavy snow， heavy smoker， 抽烟抽很多的人，或者很喜欢喝酒的人 ，heavy drinker， 或需可以要需要睡很多觉的人 ，heavy sleeper。那么，或者是有时候我们吃饭太重口味啦，或者是有点难消化的，我们就可以说是 a heavy meal or a heavy winter coat， 一件大件的厚重的大衣。比如说 ，Martha is wearing a heavy winter coat。那么 ，heavy 有很重的意思嘛，像是很重的设备 ，you can say heavy equipment。比如说 ，the suitcase is fairly heavy。那我们再看另外一个句子。We were late because of the heavy traffic. The cars didn't move for hours. 因为塞车迟到了，我们的车辆好几个小时都没有往前走。那刚刚说，哎，这个只要是顺风的话，其实飞机跟着这个 jet streams 可以飞得更快嘛。那如果相反呢，就是 against， 那它就是逆着方向。比如说。今天有人跟你意见不一样，我们就可以说 somebody speaks against you， 或者是投票反对什么 ，to vote against something。比如说 ，no one spoke against me at the meeting。在会议上呢，没有人是发言反对我的意见的。So sometimes we like to say to have something against someone。那代表说你不太喜欢某一个人，或你对他有一种有意见，不太喜欢他。比如说 ，I have nothing against him。I just don't like the way he talks。那我们看另外一个句子。It's hard to walk against the strong wind. 逆着强风行走是很困难的哦。所以刚刚就说，哎，那我们干嘛不沿着就是直线飞就好 ？Why don't we do something? 这个有一种就是你干嘛不？为什么某人不要做什么？所以比如说，假如一个人说啊，我好就是全身很臭啊，要想要洗澡，然后他又不去洗，你就可以说 ，Why don't you take a shower? 你干嘛不去洗澡？或者是说，你干嘛不来派对 ？Why don't you come to the party? 所以就是今天所有的单词 ，Don't forget to practice and review all these words. And right now, let's go to our review time activity. Review time. All right, it is our review time, and I have the board in my hand, so you know what that means. It's Hangman. Hangman.、Oh, hey, okay, I was <laughs> going to say something else. Charades.、Yeah. <laughs> It'd be kind of hard to play charades with these、yeah. uh, with these words today. But we can review first, and then we can do hangman. We can do some spelling. Okay. okay. So、um, we have the word path, right? Path, 路线 Yeah, path means like a road you walk、mm-hmm. on.、Um, like if you go hiking, could go on a path. We also have the verb. Fly, fly. Yes, F L Y to fly somewhere, or a pilot flies an airplane. You can use like that. We also have the word heavy. Heavy. Yes, heavy is like something that is heavy, like a 
big rock. Like heavy, <laughs> heavy workout. Mm-hmm. Yes, heavy, heavy workout yeah. or heavy meal, like mm-hmm. Chigolin mentioned earlier. And then we have the preposition against. Again, okay, to go against something. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now we review the words for you. It should be super easy. I have the first one ready. Are you ready to guess? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Mm. What should we do first?、Uh, maybe I'll go with、um, an A. Okay, we have an A. Good, good. Okay, A works. Yes, A work. <laughs> it works. We have、okay. one A.、Um, Think about it. What words have my de- head? Definitely not pass because we have five blanks,、mm-hmm. right? Okay, so we got four left. Not.、Mm, could it be against?、Uh, I don't think so. Or do you want to guess another vowel、um, to give you another clue? Maybe usually maybe. that's my strategy. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's. Um, I'm gonna go with them.、Um, with them.、Um, there's no O here. Okay, I'm gonna go with an E. Okay, okay. Let's do E. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And it works. Okay, so you have the. Ah,、uh, but it's、uh, getting more uh, obvious. Uh-huh. Uh, why? Ah, okay. That works. That works. What word is it, guys? A word that ends in Y. N. I'm gonna go with an N. N. Nah, no end. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna die. Don't don't hang me. Or should I give you a clue? This, you, yeah, this、okay. I'll give you an object、okay. like、um, an elephant. Is <laughs> what? It's huge. Close. <laughs> Close. With with the, oh, start with the, the, the same letter. Is、mm-hmm. the first letter?、Uh, I gave you guys a H, clue. H H H H. What? What word is it? Heavy. Yes. How do you spell heavy? H E A E V Y. Heavy. A V Y. Yes. Super easy, heavy, right? Okay. Okay. I think we have time for another maybe one, one more, one, one more, quick one. one. Okay. okay. Let's probably erase. Or right at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Sushi eraser. Sushi eraser. Okay. <laughs> I'll do an easy one. Four. Okay. Four okay. letters. Four letter words. Um. Uh. Um. T. <gasps> oh. Go guess.、Mm. I know the answer. <laughs> you know the answer. You、uh, want to go for it? P- path. <laughs> yes, that's right. Super easy. Path、yeah. is spelled P A T H. Okay. Super easy. So if you want to do like a spelling test or spelling review, definitely play Hangman. It's a very easy game to play. But don't forget, we still have day two. We still have more to learn about flights and airplanes. So we'll take a look at day two. But that's all the time that、mm-hmm. we have for today. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Magic box. 大家好，不是澳洲，不是亚洲，又到了这个每周星座的时间了。我就是星座专家唐奇阳，在一周的这个木星呢，仍然在水象星座。这个水象能量哦，容易呢让人引发忧惧，所以呢，你的身心灵哦都很需要疗愈。那假如同学遇到这种状况呢，你是会出去走走呢，还是去大吃舒压？我们生活中呢，充满了许多“假如”。英文里面呢，说“如果怎么样呢”，我们就可以使用这个字 “if”。I F 来假设了，这个文法呢就好像跟我们一样被水象能量给影响了。我们一看到它就觉得很忧惧，但是呢不要害怕，我们一点一点来。马上呢今天就来学它的第一种用法喽。今天要分享的第一种用法呢，其实就是我们中文说的“如果”，但它算是假设吗？其实呢有一点不太算喽。我们呢马上先来看一下这个例句。我们说呢 ，If it rains, the ground gets wet. 如果下雨了，地板就会湿掉。If it rains, the ground gets wet. 今天的用法呢，就是用在讲事实。OK， 不论呢是现在或是任何时间发生的情况，它呢就是一个真实会发生的事情，它是一个真理。既然呢是讲述一个事实哦，那我们的这个动词时态呢就要使用现在简单式。比方说呢，我们再看一次刚刚的例句 ：If it rains, the ground gets wet. OK， 如果下雨了，地就会湿掉。在这个句子里面呢，我们就用 if 来引导条件。后面呢，接上这个会发生的事实。注意到了，我们两个句子呢都是使用现在简单式。其实呢，不要想说这个哎，假设时态要变化，这个时态动词时态要变化是很多很复杂。其实呢，就是你从中文去联想，其实是一样的、哦。如果怎么了，什么事情就会发生。这个句子呢，就是我们今天这个 if 的用法。
我们呢可以再看另外一个句子哦。前阵子呢过年的时候呢天气超冷，我呢就躲在家里，正好呢又是过年，哎呀家里面一堆大鱼大肉，又有零食哦，想当然了，我怎么样，胖的不成人形啦。If I eat too much, I gain weight. 如果吃太多呢，我就会变重。If I eat too much. I gain weight. OK， 跟刚刚一样呢，我们就用 if 引导条件。If I eat too much， 如果我吃的太多，会怎么样呢 ？I gain weight， 我增加体重。前后呢，我们两个句子呢都是使用现在简单式的时态，用逗号呢把它们连在一起。这个呢就是我们今天的用法咯。另外呢，要提醒大家，在今天这样的句型当中呢。If 一般来说呢是可以使用 when 来代替的，意思呢是一模一样，就好像呢我们中文说当怎么样就会怎么样。When it rains， 当下雨的时候呢 ，the ground gets wet， 地板就会湿掉。一样呢，我们是在阐述事实，意思呢也是一模一样啊、哦。但是呢，我们中文翻译有点不同，所以呢就看大家写作的当下呢是怎样的心情。我们一起呢好好的来。用这个文法吧。